Hello everyone, my name is Abdul Rahman and welcome to an important tutorial that I want to talk about with you guys. So any co uh, beginner composer out there might take advantage of uh, uh, of my uh, video because I will uh, you know I will show you uh, an, an important guide that will help any uh, composer who's just starting out with you know with the world of sample libraries okay so uh, I'm going to discuss two paths in this tutorial the first path is the cheap path and the second path is the expensive path now what is the difference between those I will talk about them in a minute but there is one important thing I need to tell you guys all the sample libraries that I will be suggesting to you are completely compatible with the free version of Contact, which is also called Contact Player. That's right. The libraries I'm going to give you are completely compatible with Contact Player, so there is no need to pay uh, additional money to, to buy uh, the software because I believe it costs four hundred dollars so four hundred dollars you can spend it on another library instead of spending it on just contact alone okay uh, it's up to you guys but this video is all about uh, getting these libraries that works well with both the full version and the free version of contact now that we get, we get this out of the way, let us get started in this guide. Recently, I said I will talk about two paths. The expensive path and the less expensive path. Let us start with the less expensive path. What is it about? Well, it's about purchasing a single library, or should I say an all-in-one library that contains all the essential uh, patches all the essential instruments to cover the orchestra all right uh, the library I'm going to suggest to you guys is for you know for the pure uh, traditional classical type of sound uh, I'm a fan of John Williams work uh, Alan, Man uh, Alan Menken work uh, so notice that in their scores they use you know the traditional orchestra they don't you know use the hyper orchestras or you know epic drums and all that stuff so uh, i'm going to point you to these libraries that works well with the classical sound of the orchestra now for my case the all-in-one library that i will mention and and that i had the privilege to test it myself is albion one from spitfire audio that's right Albion One is a is a fantastic sounding library, and the beauty about it is that it was recorded uh, in in, in uh, the Air Studio, which is supposed to be the crown jewel of all the Spitfire audio libraries. It has a beautiful sound, an out of the box sound. You don't need to use any additional reverb. You can just go ahead and use their libraries immediately and start. And start scoring some uh, films and video games they have this natural room uh, which give you th that rich uh, and lush sound required uh, for your instruments okay so what does this library have Albion one have high brass which is basically trumpets and it have the me the, the mid brass which are basically horns, French horns, and it have low brass, which is you know uh, uh, trombones or probably bass trombones uh, combined with tubas, you know. This is for the low brass, and they do have as well uh, high woodwinds and low woodwinds, and they have strings, which is high strings and low strings and they do have you know a combination uh, of these sections so you can have 
string with brass you can play them together at the same time so a uh, different combinations uh, a different combinations of different articulations from different sections of the orchestra and you will also get separate patches or separate articulations for for you know for a flexible control and you will also get the most important uh, or sought after patches which are the legato patches you will have legato patches for uh, uh, for both the complete sections and for the individual uh, sections and by complete i mean you will get a legato patch for the entire brass section or you can just get a, a legato patch for the individual sections like the horns uh, in this case in this case they are named the mid brass okay the same thing applies to the woodwinds and to the strings um, beside the legato patch you will also get the the runs uh, patches uh, the run patches of both strings and woodwinds will have a pre-recorded runs that are ready to be played and programmed uh, sorry not to be pro just to be played inside your DAW these are for the basic uh, orchestral sections and you will also get the percussion section you will get uh, from the percussion uh, a, per a percussion ensemble which is called uh, Darwin ensemble now this Darwin ensemble it have uh, you know different kind of sounds you will get low sounds low boomy sounds you will get the mid uh, the mid uh, drums you will get some low drums mid drums high drums and you will go even higher you will have just sticks and you will have metal hits so uh, it is called uh, Darwin Percussion Ensemble and you will get uh, part of the percussion section you will also get a patch called Easter Island which contains you know these really strong low boomy sounds you know like earth hits you know something like you hear in the beginning of a, of a, of a movie if you want to create that goosebump feeling for the for the beginning of the movie or the ending of a movie it, they really have some strong deep ultra deep sounds so this patch is called easter island and they have another patch called uh hyper toms which is basically our toms you know uh, uh, a pretty strong toms that allow you to do you know strong rhythmic uh, percussion patterns and you will uh, also get something called the XXL double XL uh, percussion uh, which is uh, which, which includes you know unusual sounds like metal stuff uh, wooden stuff you have to check that out and they're in their, in, in their uh, documentation or manual and uh, after we finish these uh, patches, we also have some additional patches, like some loops and organic sound. For me, I don't, uh, you know, I don't use them, but I'm sure uh, some of you guys, you know, may take advantage of these uh, loops and these organic stuff. All right, uh, and last for their mix uh, mics, they have the standard CTA which is close, tree, and ambient, or surround mics, plus an additional mic called Outrigger. Now, I know some of you guys may heard about uh, another library, you know, an all-in-one library that, were that was released after Albion 1. Uh, this library is called Berlin Inspire, and it was developed by a company called Orchestral Tools. Now Berlin Inspire, from the demos I've heard and from the walkthroughs that I've saw, it is a fantastic sounding library and they also 
their their engineers also try to preserve the natural sound of their scoring stage which is the teldex scoring stage in germany it, it has a fantastic sound as well i believe no uh, third party plugin uh, a reverb is required as well you can just use it out of the box just like spitfire but the reason i pointed i pointed you guys to Albion one is because that I tested it personally and even composed with it but I didn't get the chance to test out uh, Berlin Inspire so for the sake of honesty I wanted to point you to the things that I have tested personally not depending on demos and walkthroughs alone you know these are not enough I'm sure you know this guys so uh, that, that is why I picked Albion 1 as the winner. But if you want to go and uh, choose Berlin Inspire, you will not regret it. I am sure of that. You can check out their manual, check out uh, their website. The library is fantastic. Even fantastic is a small word to say for this huge library. And what's good about it is that it is intended for the pure orchestral work so you will not get any of these you know loops organic sounds and uh, and unusual uh, percussion sounds you will only get that pure orchestral in uh, patches plus you will get uh, uh, some additional instruments like for example a grand piano and a concert harp and a standard uh, orchestral percussion set which includes timpani as well so if you really want to you know to 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 take this library uh, on your responsibility go ahead i don't mind that it is actually a good library uh, and the only difference between uh, the price of the berlin inspire and alpine one the difference is you know small barely noticeable so yeah you can go ahead and check out you know the demos on both the libraries check out the walkthroughs uh until you feel uh, you feel you are comfortable and settled enough to buy one of these libraries and what's good about them that is that they are both compatible with a free version of contact all right so let us go to the more expensive path the ultra expensive path which is trying to cover the entire section of the orchestra by buying uh, individual sample libraries from different companies you know the only disadvantage of this path is that you will have to be good at uh, mixing or at audio engineering you will have to smartly you know blend all these libraries together because some some of these libraries have a dry sound like for example cine samples and some of these libraries have a very wet sound like spitfire audio and some of these libraries have this you know mid sound between dry not so dry and not so wet like orchestral tools so you have to know how to blend these libraries from different locations all together uh, in a single room that's the only uh, trick that you need to uh, know as for these libraries it's gonna cost you so so much more than buying just the all-in-one library because buying a library for a single section or a single family of the orchestra means that you will get you know a massive amount of articulations patches a high quality a high detailed instruments to create the the most realistic sounding section all right so let us start with the first section which is the woodwinds the recommended library for this and that works well with contact player is called berlin woodwinds revive and it's from the company orchestral tools this is my go-to library what do they have they have something called attack control which will allow you to control the attack 
of the sustained patches from soft immediate to extended for greater flexibility and control they have their famous adaptive legato engine which means that if you start playing on your midi keyboard the notes uh, their capsule engine will start to recognize your performance or the way you play and uh, it was scripted uh, and it was scripted in a way to recognize your performance and and gives you the best realistic result possible according to your uh, playing or performance so you can go from a very slow emotional playing a slurred to a very fast uh, playing like uh, fast runs this is for their adaptive legato scripts and they do have some pre-recorded runs which are ready to go and they do have run patches if you want to create your own uh, runs uh, manually and they do have a runs builder for huge ensembles like the flute section uh, or uh, or the clarinet section all right on top of that they have something called the trills orchestrator which will allow you to create custom trills uh, like you know, whole tones half tones and they do have another thing called the building ensemble which will allow you to take full advantage of their library or full should i say full control of their library by building a huge woodwind ensemble from flutes alto flutes oboes clarinets bassoons and so on they ca you can even have you know divisi sections like flute one flute two flute three oboe one oboe two clarinet one clarinet and so on and so forth so uh, this is what i like about this library is that they have individual instruments so not you will not get only the the, the entire flute uh, flute section you will get flute one two and three the same goes to oboes and bassoons so this will give you the most realistic uh, sounding performance for your uh, midi mock-ups and the last thing I'm going to talk about in this library is the mic mixes, the mixing panel. They include the standard uh, mics, uh, CTA mics, which is, as I said previously, close, trigger, and ambient mic, plus some, some of their own uh, additional uh, mics, custom mics. All right, so that's it for the woodwinds let us go to the brass for the brass the champion that will hold the title is spitfire symphonic brass from spitfire audio uh, i was able to test this library myself and i could say it's the best library uh, brass library and it is compatible with the free version of contact so what's good about this library let us see for this money you're spending <coughs> sorry guys <clears throat> you will be purchasing uh, the the entire brass section which includes the french horns and they include a horn solo a section of two horns and six horns you will have a trombone section which includes solo trombone two trombones and six trombones they will have a bass trombone you will get a solo and two bass trombones you will get a, a contrabass trombone you will get a, a trumpet section which includes solo trumpet a section of two trumpets and six trumpets you will have tuba as well and contrabass tuba and lastly you will have chimbaso this instrument 
and I believe that's the last instrument in their bra brass library. Uh, so you can see for the for the money you'll be spending on their brass library uh, you will get uh, pretty much all the required instrument to start doing your fantastic uh, you know brass chords uh, or you know if you want to do uh, brass chords or brass sounds okay and for the mixing panel they have uh, the standard uh, their famous standard uh, mics which is cta close trigger uh, sorry close tree and ambience so that's it for the brass library so let us move on to the next uh, library which is the strings now if you want to only own one string library the winner of this section would be Cinematic Studio Strings by Cinematic Studio. This is the best sounding string library out there and it has the most convincing and ultra realistic uh, legato scripting. I would really, really recommend this um, library for your uh, orchestral strings need. So. Uh, what does the, the, this library contains? Well, it contains uh, sustains, a legato in two modes. We have the normal legato, the normal speed, and the advanced legato, which will ha which in which you will have three speeds: slow, medium, and fast. Slow for a slow, warm, melodic lines, and fast if you want to go for uh, string runs. And you also have shorts, which, uh, which are as follows. Staccato, staccissimo, spiccato, and sforzando. You also ha uh, have a tremolo. And the tremolo can be played in both sustain and legato. You have harmonic, trills. You have a measured tremolo which is basically uh, short uh, tremolo notes. You have marcato with spiccato overlay. You can switch it on and off, it depends uh, on you. And you also have a, a legato uh, switch for the marga uh, marcato as well. If you want to, uh, if you, want to you know, uh, you can use it to make runs as well. Instead of using the legato mode, you can go with the marcato patch instead of the legato patch and other shorts you have pizzicato bartok snap and you have colinio sorry bartok snap and you have colinio and uh, all these patches all of these patches that i mentioned all have uh, sordino all right so you can switch between uh, the normal or you know the, the the hard playing and the soft playing uh, sordino okay as for the mic options you have a mix mic which is already mixed by their audio engineer and it is light on your cpu or if you want you know to do some real magic with the with the sample you have three mics close main and room and if you ever wanted to go back to the original uh, legato patches of their old uh, version or or their old library which is cinematic strings they do have uh, a folder inside called the classic legato patches all right so that's it for the strings now we covered the four uh, main sections we covered the strings and we covered the brass the woodwinds and percussion all right so uh now that we covered three sections till now which is uh, the strings uh, brass woodwinds now we cover the rest of the orchestral sh sections so we start with the percussion section which is the fourth family of the of the orchestra now for the percussion 
the library that that I would choose and and that works perfectly with the the contact player would be Cineperk by Cine Samples. It is a fantastic library, and I believe it's the most comprehensive library on the market right now. It literally have everything you need from metals, woods, drums, and all that uh, stuff. And um, if you want to go through the library, I already have it here so you can see the folders that I have. So we have the Orc Perk, which is, you know, the standard uh, percussion set that is used mostly in any uh, orchestral settings. So with the Orc Perk, we have the, the Melodic folder, the Woods folder, the Metals, Ethnic, the Big Perk, Toys and more. And we have uh, the Legacy folder, uh, which is basically in, in Cine, Cineperk, before before there was Cineperk, there were four uh, versions of Cineperk. There were Core, Pro, Epic, and uh, Auxiliary. So Cine Samples did, did, uh, did us a favorite, and they combined all these folders together, uh, the fourth, uh, the four editions of Cineperk, they combined into an all-in-one li massive library. So if you want to go back to the individual folders, you will get a legacy folder, just like in uh, Cinematic Studio Strings that I just showed you, there's also uh, a legacy folder. And last, we have the Cineperk Orchestral Percussion Ensemble, which is basically they try to layer the most important instruments across uh, the 88 keys of your keyboard, and you can start, you know, uh, play playing them at the same time using a single uh, patch only. So that's it for Cineperk. Uh, as for your harp needs, I would also recommend another library from Cine Samples, which is Cine Harps. It is an absolutely fantastic library. And it also works with the contact player, the free version of contact. So this is Cine Harp. You'll have uh, a concert harp uh, and a harp glissandi and some harp harmonics, some harp sh shorts, slides, uh, some, uh, some sound effects uh, using harp. And you will also get uh, a, a second harp and a third harp. Okay, and you also get an extra patches here. You have a harp pad, bass harp, sub block, and you will have also as well uh, the uh, beside the extra patches, you will have a split patches, harp made a major glissande, and uh, all these good stuff. So I would really recommend Cine uh, harps as well for your harp needs. Uh, and last but not least, we have uh, Cine Piano, which is another library, fantastic library from Cine Samples for your piano needs. And what's good about this library is that you can use it for, you know, it's uh, for both ways. You can use it as a solo instrument or as part of the percussion section. So if we open Cine Piano, we will get inside the Cine, uh, the Cine Piano which is the standard, uh, uh, the standard patch that comes in the library. And we have the classical, which is, you know, more of, which is more of a classical sound that you'll get. And we have the cinematic. And last, we have the Rock Studio Grand. So all of these four patches comes inside Cine Piano. And I believe that uh, for this library to work with Contact Player, it is also a, a one of the... Uh, best piano libraries out there that works with your orchestral co co uh, collection. So I've been going back and forth, back and forth, trying to choose the best piano and harp library for uh, for my work, and these two were were the winners from Cine Samples. So great job, Cine Samples. And uh, yeah, one last section that I missed is the choir, but I don't have it right now. I don't, I, I, I never tried it. So the library that I'm going to suggest to you guys right now, you know, I haven't had the pleasure to try it, but 
I'm planning on purchasing it, you know, once I invest a little bit. I want to get this epic library. It is uh, Hollywood Choir by East West, uh, by East West Sound. It's a, it's a massive company and I'm sure you guys uh, know this company. It's well known across all the world by all composers. They literally cover all the sections and they also have uh, their own engine which is which is called play engine uh, the only thing sad about this library is that if I purchased one of their sample libraries I will have to use it with their engine the play engine not contact I would rather uh, you know I would rather uh, have all my libraries integrated with contact instead of an another sampler so so that's the ser uh, sad part about them but maybe for the for the for the sound that I've heard, uh, for the massive sound that I've heard, maybe I will you know take the take this risk and get their play engine uh, to to be able to play their choir library because it's absolutely fantastic. I would recommend that you guys wa watch their walkthroughs, uh, look at their demos, listen to to, to them. Uh, I believe you know it's 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 the best sounding choir library out there till now. There is no competitors. Maybe they are, but I'm not w aware of. But uh, I really want to 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 grab this library, and hopefully once I do, I want to do a review here on my channel. But uh, yeah, that's all I have for now, guys. These are all the sections that I would uh, recommend for any beginner who wants to own only. A single library for each section to cover his orchestral needs. This this will be it, and they all importantly that they all work with the free version of Contact. So make sure you download Contact Player, and you will also get a, a free uh, library from uh, from Native Instruments once you download their free version of Contact, uh, which is the Factory Factory Selections. So you should definitely check that out. It has some interesting stuff. Uh, maybe you can use them to, to, to mix it with your orchestral uh, stuff. So uh, yeah, that's it, guys. This is uh, my guide to have the perfect sample libraries to start out your career as a film composer. So good luck to all of you guys, and I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Bye.